Okay, so let's keep right into it. I've already started on my brows, y'all. Um, I want to see if I'm going to go ahead and conceal the top. But I haven't laid my baby hairs down yet. And sometimes when you try to lay your baby hairs on top of your makeup, like your makeup bleed into your hair. And it just looks so, like, disgusting. And, yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all gonna be hearing a lot of... And... Because... I don't know if it's my allergies or if I'm just getting sick. Okay, so today I am doing a Nicki Minaj-inspired hair and makeup. Um... I'm going to insert a picture here somewhere or in the thumbnail. Y'all going to see exactly what I'm talking about. So, um, Nicki Minaj, she, that's it, Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Nicki Minaj, she always does, like, this signature look that I really, really love. And i just been doing it ever since. But I just kind of just wanted to do it today. So, yeah. Um... So, what should I start on first? <laughs> this is the Bare Mineral Stroke of Light Eye Brightener in the shade Illuminous 4. So, I'm just going to place this on my lid. It's not too light, but... Oh, fuck. It's not too light, but it's just going to give me like a little base to put some shadows down. <laughs> Go into this Rue 21 Contour Kit. They don't even have a Rue 21 here in Alabama anymore. So, I don't know. Where could you guys get this from? So, I'm just going to take... I'm going to take these two shades and just blend them together. And just work that on my crease. Can you guys see? Like, I just feel like this is so horrible. And I'm just gonna put that over my whole entire lid. I'm not gonna do too much on my eyes. I'm gonna add another shade of brown in there just to give it a little dimension. So I just gonna look like one little bland eyeshadow. So I'm going into my dupe of the Huda Beauty palette and I'm gonna take the shade Coco and I'm just gonna work that into the crease as well. Okay, not much of a difference, but we just gonna go with the flow. Um, so I'm gonna be using this eyeliner. This is the LA Colors eyeliner. Uh, I'm not sure where I actually got this from, but it works wonders. It's really, really like pigmented, and it's really opaque. And yeah. I'm just going to, she always does like a really thick wing, but I'm not going to do a thick, thick wing because I'm just going to class and I ain't trying to have on a ton of makeup. So I'm going to do a wing, but it's not going to be as thick as hers.
that's it for the eyes i'm gonna add some of these lashes that i've been wearing i forgot what brand this is but i definitely remember the style these lashes were like 3.99 and it was in the style iconic y'all will probably know it when i say the name but i'm just gonna be using this duo lash glue and doing my lashes putting these flossies on I'm going to be priming my face with the LA Girl Pro Prep Primer. And this is my favorite primer of all time, y'all. This shit works wonders. Like, I ran out, and then I tried to do my makeup one day. And I was just, like, super oily. My face was creasing up. And I was like, what the hell is going on? Like, I'm the type of person, I like to try different makeup. I don't like to just stick to one thing. But... It seems as if this is the only primer that works for me because I was using a different primer. And it's kind of like water-based because this has like a certain type of feeling to it. I can't explain it. It feels like silicone. Like a, I can't explain it, but it has like a weird uh, feeling to it. And I guess that's what, you know, smooths the face out and... I guess it's a smooth the base out and have your foundation lasting super long. So now I'm just gonna go back into my hair because I am gonna also be doing my hair on camera too. What time are you? Oh Lord. I'm gonna go back into my hair because I laid my frontal down today. And I just should have did this last night because I feel like I'm being rushed. And, um, like I said, I have to lay my baby hairs before I actually put on my foundation because if I don't, the foundation will bleed. <clears throat> I feel like I'm talking super low, but y'all, these walls are so fucking thin. As you can see, my frontal is not down on me right there. I don't really care because I'm not going to be wearing it up. So, this hot comb right here is the bomb. Yeah, like this is how you get your front tools really, really flat. Like, you see that? It makes a huge difference. Or you can use like a wine curl, but I really prefer the comb because it gets, it's like it's combing every strand straight. It's like, not just the top of your head. And I do have a video on how I lay my front tooth. So that will be down below if you guys want to see. Oh, what the hell? This nigga back and back. Like literally driving backwards. Okay. So boom. <clears throat> and now we can move forward on to the face so um i did pick up a new foundation from walmart but i'm a low-key scared to use it because i didn't really test it on my face but the rest of them just look too light i mean too dark for me but this now that i'm looking at it this looks like i'm gonna have to like mix it or something but this is the burt's bees um Foundation. I didn't even know they had foundation, but they have really good chapstick and stuff. So it says goodness glows liquid makeup and this is in the shade Chestnut and this is my shade in every other foundation 
coconut, anything nut. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I feel like I'm going to definitely have to mix this foundation. Yeah, that is so light. I don't know if it's oxidizes or what. We're going to see. Well, for one, it's not really as, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not as pigmented. It doesn't, it doesn't have no coverage, honestly. So, I'm going to go into my Maybelline Fit Me. It, does, it doesn't look like it's not my color. So, I really don't know what y'all think. I don't know, but I'm just going to go ahead and just mix this on top so I don't be looking crazy. Just in case. Because like I said, I don't know. Makeup is just all about like trial and error. You just see what works for you. Like what works for that day. And I hate that my nose is fucking running. Makeup. I can't be the only one. Because I just feel like you was not doing this beforehand. But now you see I want to look cute. You, you want to run. gonna go on top with this sponge and just evenly blend that out. Okay, so now for um, concealer, I'm gonna be using my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fun. And Nicki Minaj, she always has like a really bright highlight underneath, so that's what I'm going for. So my Real Techniques sponge, just a bomb, ain't no sponge like Real Techniques. I'm sorry, y'all. I just, I'm just like literally forgetting that I'm filming while I'm filming. So now I'm just going to set that with my air sun powder. Wipe that away. So 
So now I'm going to go back into this uh, Rich 21 contour palette and those shades that I use on my lids. I'm just going to press that under my eye. Yeah. Um <laughs> she never like has like any like liner on underneath or any um mascara on, but I'm gonna put just a little bit on just so I won't be looking so bland right there. I'm going to contour with this darker shade here. I'm going to be highlighting with this Wet n Wild palette. It's nothing in here, but it's a little soft, so we're going to use what we got. And I'm going to highlight, highlight. I'm basically done uh, for the lips. She always does like this pink lip with brown eyeliner. So, I'm gonna be taking this Wet n Wild liner and lining my lips. And I'm going to be taking this Ruby Kisses Matte Lipstick in the shade Pink About It. And I'm just going to be giving that a couple of dabs. Okay, so... Moving along back to the hair. Oh, let me set my face. I, I just realized I'm using a lot of LA Girl products. So, y'all do me a favor and go to their Instagram and tell them to sponsor me. But this is the setting spray from them. It's the matte one. I like to spray that first. And because it's like really matte, it does give like a dry dry look so if you have really oily skin like my skin it's sometimes it's oily sometimes it's dry it really depends on like the weather and stuff so I'm gonna go with the the Milani setting powder not powder a uh, setting spray and this is the make it last 16 hours. And I'm just going to put that on top. Ooh. Okay. That's it for the face. Now moving back to the hair. I'm going to be crimping my hair. This is a very, very long process. So I'm going to just show y'all how I, how I do it. And then... Um, after that, I'm just going to come back and show y'all what exactly I look like. Because, like I said, this is a very, very long process. This takes about 30 minutes itself. And I can't afford another 30 minutes on this video. Because it's almost, I've been doing this for like an hour. So, I'm just going to So, this is what I'm looking like. I just sprayed some Got To Be Glue spray on top of it. Just so they can last longer. So yeah, I really do like this look. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment if you would like. I'm always open for discussion. So yeah.